love you. Bye. Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, I am uh, just getting dropped off to do an overnighter at this Corps of Engineer place. There goes my wife. And the reason why I get dropped off is because this is the same place that earlier in the year, my buddy Adam and I uh, did an overnight when it snowed and stuff. And we did the Uber. And the reason why we do that is because if not, you've got to pay $10 parking uh, for the overnight section. But basically, you got to get a camp campsite. Now, this is all core land, so it's public land. So you're not paying for the campsite, you're paying to park here. So this saves me 10 bucks to just come out and do one night. And I get to do this pretty little hike. This is where I came from. That's where I'm going and a little bit around that way. So it's about uh, 6.30. I've got about two hours before it gets dark or hits dusk. And I don't even have, man, not even a 20 minute walk. Uh, I'm gonna look at what it looks like, this area I've been to before. If it's still good, I'll stay there. If not, I'll find a new place. Because the last time I came to this way, it looked like some kids and stuff had uh, messed up a lot of what Adam and I had done. So uh, definitely don't want that. That's the risk you take when you are going to stay on public land. Anybody can go to it. Man, the creek is way, way down. Uh, Adam, you'll you'll know how far down that is. And this is the first time too that I've been here for the spring because I wasn't able to come into any of this area last year because the flooding was still so bad. So a lot of this is gonna be new for me as far as it being grown up and all that. Man, the uh, creek is super, super low. I uh, wasn't expecting that. We had never uh, been here in the hotter months. So we just assumed it was spring fed because it was always flowing, but it's real low. I mean, it's deep enough further over this way I can go and get water if I need to. I brought two bottles full. I'm just doing dehydrated meals so they don't take that much water. I'm gonna do my best to not get all worked up and do all kinds of crazy stuff. This is just for me to come out and relax this is the spot I normally stay at from this tree to this tree with the creek right behind me but uh, I think I'm going to drop my pack put it next to this down log kind of tuck it away and go on a little hike up here where Adam and I did our winter camp just to see what it looks like up there That's where my pack is. It's definitely not completely invisible, but for anybody that's walking through here, the way I put it, they're not gonna see it. So the main thing I'm wanting to do is watch for snakes and check and see what this is like now that it's spring, there's green everywhere, and what's grown up and like, kind of like our little trail that we made when we, we came out here for the for the winter camping. I'm definitely, if I'm not looking at you in the camera, I apologize. This is just like Copperhead City. This all still looks fairly the same. Turn you around real quick. So all this is what the kids did after Adam and I did that winter camping trip this tree here was the one that we tied off of and had our two plow points this is our fire ring that we built and they came in busted bottles 
and did all this but it doesn't look like they've been back everything's pretty much all the same the way I left it when I came out here with my wife when I came out here with my wife and did that uh, little day hike video but what I was wondering is going back in here and maybe finding a spot I don't want to do too much trail clearing or like clearing out a spot because I have that one down there I also don't have anything to do tonight besides put up my tarp and my hammock so I'm gonna go over my gear and all that tomorrow during the day and I have some time that I need to to do some stuff or whatever I can hang out tomorrow I brought stuff for for even lunch tomorrow if I need to so to keep from getting too sweaty and having sweaty clothes tonight that probably won't dry out unless I take my time in the morning uh, I'm gonna go just a little bit further up this way and see if I find a spot and then go back to my pack I don't want to get too far away from it all right so if you're going a little bit further back in there uh, it's just not worth it what I have to do I found some good trees but the work to make the spot stable for hammock hanging just isn't, isn't going to work. Uh, I didn't bring a machete or anything like that. There's my pack. Can you see it? Alright, so these two trees got you set up. As you can see how I string this stuff up. And I'll do a little time lapse too so you don't have to watch all of it. want to get really technical with their staking and like you know doing this this kind of stuff and really all I ever do is I just wrap around it once or twice and once it doesn't move on its own I just make a few more wraps like this and then I just bring it through itself just like that all right, so I got the, the biggest tour to me of task done, which is uh, getting your sleeping and your, your shelter set up. Now I just gotta do a few more things, like maybe pull out my hammock and make some more stakes and stuff. And then uh, just kind of relax. I'm not doing a lot tonight. I just wanted to get away, clear my head. Uh, I, I got back from Blade Show a few days ago, and although that was a lot of fun, I also just, was really high strung so this is something to just kind of mellow me out.